Today I want to talk to you about buying a property franchise. Firstly, I think it helps if you have an interest in property. If so, have a look around the property industry franchises, do a Google search on property franchise to give you an overview of which franchisors are within this sector. Research using their websites and select a short list of a few companies that you like the look of and get some further information. Most websites should enable you to download their franchise prospectus. Read through this carefully and if the model, ethics and franchisor's passion are a fit with your expectations and you're still interested, it's time to call the franchisor and have an initial chat. Make sure that you ask lots of questions and if you like what you hear and your level of interest and excitement is growing, it's then time to arrange a meeting. I always say to my franchise recruitment team that they should not have to sell a Home Experts franchise. It's up to the individual franchisee to buy the franchise. So if someone's giving you the hard sell, it's probably time to leave and choose another franchise. Some franchisors are not as ethical as others, so when potential figures are discussed, it's really important for you to validate if the number of sales or lets they advise you you will achieve are actually realistically achievable, especially if it's your first year of trading. These can be substantiated by size of the market of properties sold in your area in the past one or two years. It's really easy to get the sold figures per postcode area from the Right Move property search portal. So, if for example, 600 properties in your area were sold over a period of 12 months, clearly it's going to be unrealistic for your new business to sell 50 to 100 properties within your first year of trading. So check how many properties the market leader in the area has. Remember, it will take a while to achieve the same numbers, so be realistic about building up your business. Compare like for like when doing your validation. If the test franchise has an office premises and yet the franchise model is being sold, is home-based, clearly the two are not the same and you cannot expect to get the same results. Also, it's important to ask what marketing budget the test franchise spent during the first and second year. Realistically, is your budget going to be the same as a well-financed franchisor determined to prove that their test franchise will succeed? Ask yourself, can you afford expensive radio advertising or sponsorship campaigns, for example? Get the facts about how the founding franchise was marketed and make an informed decision. Remember, this is going to be your new business and it will become a massive part of your life. Take time to do the research, compare like with like and good luck with buying a property franchise. If you'd like more information on the Home Experts Estate and Letting Agency franchise and our approach to ethical franchising, visit our website and take a look.